So this is uh, Wes Matthews, and Wes, I see you have a uh, quartet on the program tonight here at Clark University. Could you tell us something about the piece? Um, I don't know. I guess it's some kind of, uh, has something to do with reconciling jazz and contemporary composition. I, I come from a jazz background, so um, the piece is definitely rhythmic and you know, a little bit funky, I guess, in some parts. And I don't know, that's about the best thing that I could say. And it, when was it composed? Um, spring of 2006 very beginning of the year 2006. What's, uh, tell us about the performance history. It was played by the Honors Saxophone Quartet at NEC in Jordan Hall in spring of 2006. And then it was played the next year by Tom on a number of occasions. Um, and I guess you guys took it to the Netherlands? Yeah. And also played at Nicole's, I, yeah, uh, one of the saxophonists who now teaches in Washington, she played it with her quartet, her current quartet. So. And it's, it's a quartet, right, so, yeah. for saxophones. Yeah. And you say it reconciles classical with uh, classical music with jazz music. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, no, I guess I was trying to not, maybe reconcile is not the best word. Um, I mean, for me, the saxophone for the you know, first 15 years of my exposure to it was a jazz instrument. I wasn't really... So, there, I suppose there are jazz elements to the piece that are coming from my jazz background, and it is some kind of... I, I suppose I could say in retrospect, you know, it's a, it's an attempt at a reconciliation for me of my own background. But, you know, I'm I, definitely... I mean, I'm not saying it's reconciling the jazz. Is it in so, is it in sonata form? <laughs> no, no, no. Pretty close. Though. <laughs> no, yeah, it's more like Rondo. I don't know. No, I don't know. So it's a classical form with jazz motifs. I'm definitely not using. I, I was not using a state form. <laughs> A predefined uh, form, no. But it, it does actually have a fairly clear formal structure. Hey, where are you from, Wes? I am from the soybean capital of the world. Top 10, Russia's top 10. We're, we were on the top 10 news list for Russia. There were going to be a nuclear war. Where is I'm it? I'm just going to put that out there because no one's heard of Decatur. Decatur, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, 85,000 people, but we're a big deal here. Archer Daniels Midland, which is one of the biggest agricultural industries in the world is based there, so to some people, I suppose, you know, the owners of that would be famous. Uh, there's a pretty famous smooth jazz artist who went to my high school who, I, I don't know. Where are you uh, residing now? I'm living in Brooklyn. I've heard some of your piano work. Do you consider yourself a uh, piano performer first and then composer, or what? Do they both go... Uh, together? I think probably composer first. Uh huh. But if it's an improvisation setting, I mean, I, it's almost exclusively piano. I haven't really composed for any of the avant garde ensembles that I've played with as an improviser. So, I don't know. In certain settings, it, I'm only a pianist. You know, I don't have any moments of piano. Who's the musician that moves you most? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to answer the other uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. question? I um, uh, No comment. I, that varies on the day. My, uh, there's a Louis Andreessen piece that pretty much gets me every time. But some of his other. Uh, I don't know how to start pronouncing it correctly. It's a. It's a like an oratorial kind of thing that's like two hours long, four 30 minute 
like movements or that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. That pretty much makes me cry every time. I haven't listened to it for probably a year though. So. Tell us the name of it again. I'm going to spell it for you because I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's D E and then M A T E R I E. So I'm assuming it's like. Dimiteri. Good. That's as good a guess as mine. That's as good as. And as and who composed it? Louis Andreessen. 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 Yeah. Andreessen. Yeah. He's Dutch. But that's just one piece. You know, like I said, I don't. Do no problem. Um, I think that's pretty. That's a rough question for any musician to answer. Hey, thanks for being a good sport, Wes.